hope you're all doing really well. It's such a gorgeous morning. The sun is coming in and oh, it's just so nice. Oh, I'll tell you why I look like this in a sec. Um, but I woke up really early this morning at like quarter to six. Oh, I felt really tired. I felt awake at the same time, which was really weird. And I recently joined a gym and the swimming pool opens at six. I, thought, I just thought I'm going to go for a swim. So I got up went for a swim but the swimming pool is actually really busy this morning i reckon everyone like goes first thing i'm not very good at like sharing a lane with someone i like my own lane because i just like to do it on my own time i feel like i have to rush because i'm quite a slow swimmer if someone's behind me i feel like i have to go really fast and then so at the swimming pool i left my hair wet and i put an olaplex mask in today and Today I don't need to put any makeup on, so I have loaded my face with skincare. I'm super shiny, um, but I just really wanted to give my skin a nice little treat today. Um, today is Wednesday, no, Thursday the 5th of May. I'm so bright that I need to move. And then tomorrow is my birthday. So this week I kind of have given myself off work, kind of. I'm not like creating any content saying that I'm filming a vlog this week. I filmed loads and got loads done last week so that this week I could still post and I still had things to share with you, but I wasn't actually filming stuff. Um, and earlier in the week we went to Wales for a couple of days. We went to um, like the Snowdonia area. We climbed Snowdon and oh my God, I completely underestimated it. I don't know what I thought it was going to be and at points I felt like I was actually mountain climbing. My legs, like my quads still feel so sore from it but it was really really good. Um, while I'm talking to you I'm going to get my breakfast on. There's washing piles, does anyone else do this? Like I always make piles of like washing in the kitchen and then they just end up staying there but today's a nice day so I'm on the washing duty. Um, so I'm actually just going to have a bit of peanut butter on toast, maybe with a sliced banana if I've got a ripe one. Um, so yeah, we went to Wales, it was really good. Um, to, um, it's called, ow! Oh my god, what did I just tread on? It's really sharp. Um, we, went to, we went to a place called Zip World and did like the fastest zip line in the world or something like that. It was really fun. So we had quite an adventure packed couple of days. Yesterday I went to Ikea and the garden centre to get some little bits. So I will show you what I got in a sec because I actually have already filmed that. Um, and today, as I said, it's Thursday. I'm just having a bit of a slow day at home. Like, as I said, I've got lots of washing to do. The house is a bit of a mess. Just want to have a tidy up. I'm having my nails and brows done this afternoon. And I've got a few new things for the kitchen. I'm going to have a bit of a kitchen restyle this morning. Which And at the weekend, I've got friends and family coming over. So I want to kind of make it, like, give the kitchen a good clean. Let's go back to yesterday. And I'm going to show you what I got from Ikea. I'm back from Ikea and I thought I would show you what I got. So first of all, I picked up this artificial plant and I picked it up because I thought that it doesn't look that artificial. And I thought this one, I really liked the different greens in there and I thought this would be really nice for the kitchen because it looks quite herby. And also you can really like pull down the um, like stems um, to make it like look really poofy. And I bought this pot as well from Ikea. This is called, there's his name. I'm not gonna pronounce, try to pronounce it. But I thought if I can find something for this to sit on, that could sit, so it's not showing you very well. If I could sit it like that, I thought that that would actually look really nice in the kitchen somewhere. As you can see, everything is kind of wooden um, because I love Ikea for their wooden bits. I really want to get a utensil pot to put out on the side and have some wooden utensils in there. So I picked up this fork thing, a wooden spoon and some little wooden tongs. I also picked up these which are heat mats um, because we've got this like uh, marble quartz um, I don't want it to get marked, marked or like heat damaged at all. Um, so picked these up for like saucepans and baking trays and things like that. I have got the smaller version of this um, and sometimes I find it too small for like if I'm making like a big salad or 
and I think coming into barbecue season when you have people around, I think it's so handy to have these nice big like serving bowls for like, you know, French stick cut up or like salads and stuff. So I got the larger size of that and picked up and I've started to get these glass containers instead of the plastic ones. And they are so good because the suction, this has obviously got the wrapper on, but when you suction in, it's like such a strong suction. Stuff stays in these so fresh for a long time. So I got a small one, another medium sized one, and then, and then a bigger one. But it's unlikely that we'd kind of have them all on the go at the same time. So I only bought one lid. I mean, I don't know if that's a genius idea or a stupid idea. <laughs> um, because this lid fits both the like more shallow and the bigger one. And then I also picked up this huge uh, wooden chopping board. I just love like the shape of this. The kitchen's a bit of a tip and there's washing all over the floor. Um, but sometimes like, I find the grey too grey. Like it's definitely more grey than I thought it was gonna be. So I really like to kind of warm it up and kind of bring those kind of natural tones and textures to make it a bit more like country living vibe, if you know what I mean. So I love using chopping boards for like little styling areas. I also got the most random little things. They had these all around Ikea and they're little like um, bags full of lavender that you um, hang like in your wardrobe, but they smell so nice. So I got one of those. And also, I'm gonna open this now and show you these. I've seen other people use these and I've always seen these in there, but I've never thought to buy them. Oh my God, they feel really weird. But actually I thought that very handy for, um, instead of using cling film um, over things um, and like keeping like cucumbers fresh and things. I mean, they look, oh my God, they're, they're a bit condom-y. Oh, um, but yeah, they stretch quite a lot, I think. So for example, let me grab a cup. I don't know, like say you had something in here you wanted to keep fresh. I guess the idea of these is that you, oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> you put that over it and it creates like a rubber seal. Um, so it keeps things keeps things fresh. After Ikea, I went to the garden centre because I wanted to get a few more plants. So I'll show you those in a sec. But I also got these from Ikea because we got two new big olive trees um, and big pots are so expensive um, and also so heavy. And when these are filled up with soil, like they're really hard to move because they're so heavy. So these are like plastic, but like a really thick, rigid plastic. And I think that they're just gonna make it a bit more like easier to move around. Um, they were £35 each. And from Ikea, I also got this little lavender plant. I thought these were like so cute on the top. Um, and I thought that these actually, we've got some lavender in our borders, but I thought that this would look really nice planted in a little pot up on the decking. And I also got this hydrangea. I got one last year, but it, it like, I don't know. I think I might have killed it. So I'm going round two this year. Um, again, bought another pot to put it in. Um, so yeah, I went to our local garden centre when I got back from Ikea. I'm whispering because um, I don't want the neighbours to hear me. <laughs> um, our garden, I need to actually do an updated um, garden vlog. I've got, I've got all the clips from last year and we did actually need to put it all together. But like, as you can see, some areas it's so full and then other areas, like the flowers just haven't come through again. So I wanted to get some, to kind of fill those gaps. And on this side, this side, as you can see from this um, big hedge, is in the shade more so I need to find so I've had to kind of google and research which flowers are going to be good for shade and which for sun so I had a little google and it said that fox gloves were good for the shade so I picked up two of these and I really love this they're called fox glove dalmatian cream I also don't love loads of like colorful flowers I really just like white flowers I can't remember if this one was for shade or sun but I really liked the tallness of this one um, and again, these two as well. I can't remember what is what. Um, and then I've had this little um, like planter, like hanging planter for ages, haven't done anything with it. And they had little pretty flowers, like three for, I think they were three for 11 pound. So I thought that actually two might have just been enough. I mean, when you take them out of the pots and actually plant them, but I thought that would be like really cute hanging up on the fence. I also ordered a big vase from Rosie Wood Interiors for the kitchen. So I'm going to open this up now. So in the same um, 
like shape and style they had a bigger one really not sure whether to go for the bigger or smaller and this i went for the smaller one and i'm glad i did because it looks huge and it's really heavy oh my god i love it oh it's amazing it's just the right size i'm thinking basically of like moving this stuff and having this vase here with loads of like dried foliage in it I love that so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so pleased with it. In my order, they've also given 10% off. Um, so if you guys want to order anything from Rosie Wood, there's a 10% off code for you. There was some polystyrene in with the vase. So I've like broken off a few squares and I've put it underneath here to like step up a little part. And I think it looks so good. I'm really excited for my little kitchen restyle day tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I don't know where that's going to go yet, but I'm loving it. I'm just using my cucumber condom for the first time. I'm going to take the small one. How, oh my God, it's so slippery. <laughs> oh. oh, it's very slippy. Oh my God, why can't I get this on? Oh, there we go. We're in. And that'll keep him nice and fresh. some dried eucalyptus so i've put that in there long wooden shopping board that i bought from ikea i'm thinking about potentially having like that on the side but when i bought that this ticket i'm sure it said 12 pounds and then last night when i was looking at the receipt it was actually 29 pounds i don't know whether to return or not because quite a lot for a chopping board but it's also a massive chopping board and Things like this, I just use all the time. I might keep it, but I haven't taken it out of the wrapper just until I'm like 100% sure. Um, I'm, I want to get some limes as well. I've got some lemons and put them oops, in there and just add that like zesty color. And then this shelf, I'm just really struggling with. I like the tall chopping boards on there. I feel like it just adds a nice bit of height, but I just can't get the rest of it right at the moment. Okay, I think sometimes you can just like faff way too much and something, oh, by the way, there's like so, I haven't put the bins away, there's cardboard out here to go in there, there's washing. I've been cleaning down the sides with this and it smells so nice. I've had this one before, but not this scent, so I normally get spray wipe done, I think it's called apple blossom and it's green, but I tried um, this, wild berries, and I didn't realise until I got home that it's from Mrs. Hinch's range, or oh, it's like her edit or something but this smells so so nice and i've spoken before about this in one of my recent vlogs that on our um quartz worktops i've tried so many like um organic and eco-friendly ones and they just leave like smears and like a residue on here and this one i just find leaves them so clean no residue and smells amazing so I love this. So I think I'm happy with this layout here. I feel like you can overthink it and overlook at it. So what I did was just kind of walked away from it and now I've come back to it and, and like I'm happy with it. Sometimes I do think you need to like come away and like have a fresh look at it. I added in this vase which I had from H&M Home, a little candle and then those wooden dishes. I added in that plant that I got from Ikea yesterday in this pot, which I think just ties in with the kitchen so well. And so, oops, oh my God, I'm so clumsy. Um, there's an ant that just came crawling out under there. Um, 
hand soap, lotion, little like washing up brush, and I've put my IV back there as well. And then on this side, haven't moved anything there, that side kind of works really well, but over here, I really wanted to add the pot with the utensils, and actually, let me show you this, I actually bought this jug from Dunelm yesterday, because I thought that this would be perfect for it, but on camera it looks smaller than it is but it's actually massive and it's really heavy but for the utensils it just looked like it's a bit big for this space so I actually found this little vase that I had at home already it's actually vase not like a um, utensil holder but I think that that works and the reason I wanted to do that is just to like balance the wood either side and my hair has like started drying with the Olaplex in but it looks it makes it look super greasy um but i'm going to get my nails done at one o'clock what is the time it's 10 to 12. because i've been up since like quarter to six this morning it feels like it should be so much later in the day than it is but i'm loving that it's still morning i have actually got a bit of admin and some emails to get back to so i've just made myself my favorite summer drink which is um elderflower cordial and sparkling water but the sparkling water is a bit flat um and i'm just gonna sit here and do that and watch bertie sunbathe good morning today is my birthday and it's so sunny it's half past 10 and the car says oh it's dropped now it's 17.5 but when we got in the car it's a little seven, um, 20 degrees it's so warm and tom and i are heading off to st albans for a bit of brunch this morning and we're gonna go to the ivy it's such a nice day so yeah we're gonna have a bit of brunch and then we're actually gonna go to costco because we're having a barbecue tomorrow with friends and family so we got loads of the stuff last night from tesco um but i want to get some more bits from costco and get like one of their big cakes and stuff as well and then seeing family later and going out for dinner with my family later so we've got a really nice day planned Just gonna make some lemon and mint water. This mint has literally, actually this is lemon balm, but it's from the mint family. And it's just like taken over, but this is so nice with fresh lemon in water. I'm just gonna grab some sprigs to pop in a jug of water. We are back from St Albans and we went to Costco to get some bits for tomorrow. It is just coming up to three o'clock and my mum and grandparents are on their way over to have a little cup of tea and a bit of cake in the garden, which will be really nice. When I was in St Albans, I also had something to return to H&M and they had some really nice things in there. So yeah, and I picked up some really nice um, summer pieces, like new in bits, um, because I'm going away next week. So hopefully somewhere in this vlog, I will show you those new bits. Makeup today is super glowy. Um, I really like it today, actually. I won't quite like minimal, um, but yeah, like it. It's very glowy, and especially as it's warm, a little bit of sweat on there maybe as well, makes it more look a bit more dewy, um, but I have filmed a reel, reel on this makeup look, so I'll leave that linked for you. Outfit of the day today is my fourth and reckless suit. It is now Saturday afternoon and I was supposed to tan on Thursday night and then last night and I was just too tired when it comes to bedtime because I like to sleep in mine and I'm feeling very pasty and I want a bit of a glow today. So I found this Vita Liberata body blow which I have used a few years ago. It's like a bit of skin makeup um so let's have a little look i just want something to give me a bit of color okay this is working quite well but this isn't like this is just basically like a wash off tan it's gonna be annoying if i wash my hands then obviously it's all gonna come off um but it was mainly oh my god buff 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 um it's mainly like my neck and chest i just wanted it to have a bit oh my god let me come to the light a bit better Oh God, I've got you propped up on some moisturizers. You know when you host, do you ever like have an idea of timings? You're like, right, I wanna be ready for this time to like, you know, do all the final bits, like put the bread rolls out, cause obviously I don't like to do that too early because I find that they go a bit stale. I actually think with a shirt on, um, yeah, anyway, basically I'm like running behind, behind my own schedule, um, but it's gonna be okay. It is 
Okay, it's 12.06, people are coming at what, and I just need to like lay the table and put everything out. I just like to have a bit of time, not rushing before everyone arrives. Okay, with the shirt, I think that's gonna work. So we went out for dinner with my family last night and I just didn't, I completely forgot to like vlog, but I wore my H&M stripy shirt, which I'm actually gonna wear today again, but I wore it with some black leather trousers and just some little black like heeled mules. But today I'm wearing the shirt with the matching trousers. I thought that today was gonna be like super warm, but it's been raining this morning. I don't think it's supposed to like rain anymore and like the sun is trying to come out and it, it's not cold, but it's just not this like super sunny day that I thought we were gonna have, but you know, we can't pick the weather in England. By the way, this little brush, it's from Coco and Eve and I actually use it for my hand tanning um, when I do my tan, but that's actually like buffing it up quite nicely. Um, one product that I'm just, oh my God, I'm obsessed with at the moment is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. My cheek, oh, it's just so nice. It just gives you such a glow. I've just propped you up on a candle there. Um, yeah, I think the tan is actually fine. I didn't show you my birthday nails. I went for like a French manicure, but then with like a little, don't know what to call it, a little line there as well. I also had my eyebrows microbladed, uh, not microbladed, What's it called? Um, laminated. Just gives such a nice shape to them. So jewellery wise, um, shall I go pearl earrings? This is from a company called Kiri, Kiri and Bell, I think it is. This one, oh, this one's a bit longer though. This one is from Katie Bell. I really like the chain. It's like, um, it's got little balls on it. Like, that's the shortest it will go. I need something like here. I'm gonna go with another Katie Bell one because this has got I love the necklaces they've got this oh my god I thought that was someone turning up already and um, they've got this like adjuster thing so you can make it like just the right length so that I can get this to the perfect length Tom got me a ring for my birthday it's from Monica Vinader it's so pretty and he actually chose it himself I'm actually impressed oh, um, and then I'm gonna go earrings I'm gonna go with my Classic Missima, these are the medium chubby hoops. I got these last year for my birthday as well, actually. Last year, like turning 30 was like fun. Now like 31 doesn't feel, I don't know, it doesn't feel as fun, it feels very grown up. But I'm lucky, you know, you have to celebrate every birthday and really make the most of life. That's this year's motto. Uh, jewelry on, let's go and set the table up. <laughs> is tidy because it was a big mess a minute ago i tried to film but my battery ran out outside it's ready but there's a huge big black cloud and now tom's weather app said it's going to rain at two mine still doesn't say it's going to rain so let's just like see what happens but there's nothing that i can do about it it is 10 to 1 so people will be arriving in a minute um, here is my full well, you can't really see it very well there but it's the um stripy set from h&m and then i've just got my Birkenstocks on with it. I have done all of the, oh, let me just turn my playlist down because I don't want to be banned from YouTube. Um, I have done all the salads and like all the prep this morning. I've cooked the chicken in the oven. Um, so that can like just be like, it's fin it's like cooked thoroughly, but you know, just chuck it on the barbie for a few minutes. I, whenever I have like people round, I'm always like looking out the window for them. I don't know what it is. I always get like, I don't know. Not anxious for people to come around, but just a bit like when everyone's here, then I can relax, if you know what I mean. So, in the meantime, because it's now five past one and none of my guests are here, um, I'm gonna. Oh. Cheers! Here are our salads. We've done pesto, pasta with some pine nuts, Greek salad, we've just got then like a traditional salad, some coleslaw. This is a gluten free pasta, and then this is delicious. It's um, sweet potato and feta of pine nuts, but it's got like a coriander um, So I don't usually like coriander, but I actually love this. It's um, olive oil, white wine vinegar, spring onions, coriander. It's delicious 
So my brother is kindly cooking the barbecue and we'll bring the meats in now and then serve up. Good morning everyone, it is Monday morning now. Um, yesterday felt quite rough, I'm not going to lie, so I didn't pick up the vlogging camera. Um, but today is Monday and I'm packing for my trip. Um, I've got the bedding out on the line, hence no bedding, but I've got a little watcher here. And I'm just trying on those new bits I picked up in H&M on Friday. Um, so first up is this little like, it's kind of like crochet, I don't really know, my brain's not very functioning this morning. And also I still haven't done my tan, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, yeah, love this little set and here are the little shorts. I'm wearing a size small in both. I will leave all of these bits linked below. Um, yeah, this is cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to take yet, um, but I'm going to be vlogging the trip next week, so you'll see next week what I take. Okay, next up is this little linen co-ord set. It is a co-ord, but I feel like the linens are... I don't know, just slightly a different colour. Um, the shorts have got a really nice elasticated waist. I feel so sure that they did this exact style last year. They've got pockets as well. They've got these in other colours, um, but I really like this kind of just natural colour. Like linen is a really nice, like natural breathable material. And in the sun, I hate getting like a sweaty body so I like to wear natural fibers like linen when the sun is out and then the final bits that I picked up um sorry I'm not doing a very good try on like there's stuff everywhere to be honest I've got loads of things like this and when I was buying them I was like I don't need these I've got loads of things like them and also they're they're too tight like you can kind of see every lump and bump and they're a bit tight. I like trousers like this a bit looser. These are so small and they are too small. And then I picked up a linen shirt. I think H&M are the best for linen shirts. But I kind of had this in mind for like a traveling outfit. Maybe like a little vest underneath and, wore, and wear like the shirt undone. I kind of like that relaxed, chic travel look. But these trousers are too small. So I'm not going to keep those, so I'm going to need to rethink my outfit, but I will keep this white shirt because in summer um, I just live in white linen shirts and this is a really nice fit. So I bought some faux olive, um, yeah, faux olive stems for that vase over there, um, but actually I think the eucalyptus works. I feel like when you put faux next to real, like you can notice, but I think... I don't know, now that I'm happy with that in there, I don't think I need to keep this. These are actually from M&S, let me just show you. So in one pack, you get three stems. Um, actually, holding them up here, they look really nice. Shall I pop them in the vase? Okay, actually, I like them. Maybe I will keep them. They're from Marks and Spencers. I don't know if I said that. And in here is one, two, three, four bunches. I actually bought six because I wasn't sure, like I wanted it quite full. Um, and I have kept them together. I haven't untied them. So I think when you untie them, you can like spread them out a bit more. And also on the bottoms, if you want, if you have like a smaller vase, you can just like bend them up because they've got wire in them. So I actually, I actually love it. I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm glad I did that because I think I'm gonna keep them. I think four is enough. I'm gonna send these two back. They were 15 pound per three. So it was kind of, yeah, kind of expensive to buy them all, but because they're faux, they'll last forever and you can like move them around. And I think I might shorten some of the branches because some are like quite long and they need spreading out a little bit more, but love that. I am just packing for going away tomorrow. I think I've kind of got all my outfits sorted. I've got those all packed in there and then shoes um, and then I can put toiletries and bits in there. I've actually got a few things I need to steam uh, before putting in. I'm going to end this vlog here um, and I will be vlogging this trip that I'm packing for. We're going down to Devon for like a little UK staycation. Um, it's a press trip, so I'm going down with some other um, bloggers. So I'll catch up with you next week.